Hello, my name is Stuart. I'm a landscaper trained by a golf course superintendent for the care of Western Washington lawns. Today I'm going to talk to you about the different methods of seeding. There's overseeding, there's slit seeding, and there's hydro seeding. And once again, this is for Western Washington. First of all, there's overseeding. Typically, on a most common yard, I call this a lawn tune-up. What I'll do is I'll aerate, I will seed, and then I will fertilize. This works pretty darn good on the average yard. I do this spring and fall. It works exceptionally well in the fall, okay? And, um, and like I say, that's, it's very easy to do. It's best to cut the yard first, and then I come in there with an aerating machine and pull a bunch of plugs, which leaves a bunch of holes. Then you add water, you start watering, and that, uh, the water will float all the seeds right on into the holes. And those holes act as individual germinating chambers. It works, it works exceptionally well, and the cost is very, very minimal, just to let you know. And uh, I've had very, very good success with that. A lot of repeated clients doing that. I'm not sure what part of the country that you are in, but here in Western Washington, that works very, very well. Slit seeding. I now do slit seeding this year. I have a Lesco slit seeder. That's the type of slit seeder um, that I use. There are many types of slit seeders. The slit seeder that I have has a hydraulic cam, and it measures how much seed goes out per square foot. And, uh, and it, it's pretty darn nifty. I set that thing down. I can adjust the depth on it. I can just adjust the speed and everything else. And uh, that cam system just meters exactly how much seed that I put out. What that machine actually does is it thatches a lawn and plants seed at the same time. There's another type of slit seeding machine also, and that's a little bit of higher quality machine that they use on golf courses a lot, and um, and that that actually injects the seeds through tubes right in back of discs that slice right through the thatch layer, and uh, these machines are very very heavy and cumbersome, and. Uh, I, I just don't know anybody that uses one of those on a residential home lawn. Over here in Western Washington, like I say, I use a Lesco, and, and I really like that. And I was able to purchase this. It was lucky. It was a demo machine used on sports fields and golf courses. So that's, that's how I was able to afford the machine that I have. And then there's hydro seeding. Both the previous methods, those are good for um, existing lawns. Hydro seeding, now hydro seeding is great for bare soil. Boy, I, I really, I'm a real fan of hydro seeding. And one of the things with hydro seeding that you want to make sure and do is um, spray for weeds or have a weed control method to use that year because hydro seeding works very, very well. But a lot of people, they, they don't put any weed control on and, um, and then they get a lot of weed competition coming in there. But I really like hydro seeding. It's a lot less expensive than sodding. Uh, with hydro seeding, you can specify the seed you want, the specific types of mulch you can use. Boy, there's paper mulch. There's synthetic mulches. You can add a tackifying agent in there. If, you're, uh, if you try to spread seed on a slope there, that'll help, help hold the soil in place. And uh, it's usually colored green, and you want to water you know, a couple times a day at least. And uh, you want to check with the contractors. There's several things in there to check, to check with. And uh, one is seed quality. What kind of seed will they be using? It, it, a lot more to be, is to be considered than just the cost per square foot, okay? That's very deceptive. And right now, there I know there are some good deals on hydro seeding. The hydro seeding market's off pretty good this year, about 30% from what I understood. At least it was last year. And I expect that to happen this year with housing markets and problems and stuff like that. But um, the two types of seeding that I do are overseeding and slit seeding. And I work with existing lawns. Once again, this is Stuart with the Air Eating and Thatching Company. All right, thank you very much. And hope I taught you something today. Thank you. Bye-bye.